My name is Kyle Bowling, and I'm with Kentucky Sports Chiropractic. So here we're going to be doing another gait analysis and what we're doing to correct any biomechanical deficiencies that we find. So first area that I want you to focus on are this runner's feet and legs and how they're swinging through the gait. So just to give you a little bit of a previous health history with this runner, he's having recurring right hip pain, recurring right plantar fasciitis, and recurring right-sided Achilles tendinopathy. Uh, the current complaint is that his right hip feels fatigued, uh, specifically after a race or a long run, and that it, it, it feels like it's working uh, harder than the left side. So let's go through and see what's going on here. All right, so first angle that I like to draw is here on his left leg, the, the side that's asymptomatic. We're going to go from middle of the glute down to the middle of the knee and then down to the middle of the calcaneus on his heel. As you can see there, it's 178 degrees, and that's, that's pretty good. Ideally, we want 180 degrees, which tells us his leg is coming straight back and straight through in one smooth fluid motion. Okay, so let's compare that to what's going on on the right side. And if you watch here, there's a whole lot more movement on the right side compared to the left, meaning uh, you know, watch his right heel and it looks like it's almost traveling in a semicircular motion as it transitions from step to step. Okay, so let's measure that same angle on this side. So we're going to go middle of the glute. So we're looking at about 153 degrees there. So that tells us there is not a smooth motion motion that the right hip and leg is going through and it's having to do a whole lot more work than it needs to. Okay, so let's transition over to the right side of the screen here. So for about 15 minutes after the initial screening, I had this runner go through some hip internal rotation activation exercises. I did some ART or active release technique on his semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus, his medial hamstring muscles, um, and I did some right sacroiliac joint manipulation to get things moving through there. All right, so. Looking right here. So left side still looks good as far as going straight back and straight through. And let's compare what's going on on the right side after having gone through, again, 15 minutes of treatment and rehab. Angle there. So that's a 20 degree improvement, 173 degrees. So not perfect yet, but this tells us we're on the right track and we're targeting the right areas. Let's go through and measure it again. Again, 175 degrees. So immediately, when this runner gets back out on the road and resumes his training, his stride is going to be more efficient, he's going to feel better, and uh, he's going to continue doing these exercises, and, uh, and, and we're going to continue treating the areas, and we're going to retest in a few weeks to see uh, what additional improvement has been made.